Anthony's part of the game. Anthony's involved in uh, community radio. And, uh, right, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, somehow connected. I did not. I think Johnny didn't know, and he's the first person up. Exactly right. Johnny's up the first act, and he's just found out himself. He's got to act this up together four, in four minutes. Four yeah, minutes. Four minutes, Johnny. Four yeah. minutes. You and your co-star. Oh. Because she's, we can't. I know, but we can't. Be, if she comes out and then if she's in Humpty Dumpty, then they'll know it's Angelique, and they'll think it's Angelique and not Humpty Dumpty. It's Humpty Dumpty. It's not Angelique. It's Humpty Dumpty. Johnny and Humpty Dumpty. Okay. And then uh, we're going to have the, oh yeah, the Shram um, uh, Musical Station is going to come and give us a little soundscape. After them, the new creation children are coming and giving us the three little pigs. So i got to run in and make sure they're, they're ready. And then after that, guess what? The Shram Musical Station is back. And they're going to give us a little musical interlude for your... I love this word. It's a little musical interlude for your edification. That would be? That would be something that makes you feel good. Oh, great. And then, and then, and then believe it or not, we have the legendary. You know him, you love him. The young people at Future Scoop, Future Scoop, Future, Future Scoop. <laughs> Their fine presentation, an all-inclusive audio drama just for you. Then, guess what? By popular demand, he's back. Or I just say, they're back. Johnny is going to come with another special guest star. Not Humpty Dumpty this time, but it will remain a secret. You will see when that happens. Right after Shrim Musical Station. Guess who it's going to be? Johnny's, Johnny's like, uh, you know, like, uh, like big secret. Oh yeah, I see that. Oh boy, boy. It'll yeah. be a surprise, let me tell you. Big surprise. And then, we're going to have, yes, you know him, you love him, you want to hear about him, or hear from them. Yes, the Orville Theater School, they've been working diligently, they've been just doing their thing. See, you're applauding for them already. I, I can't believe it. Then, the people who's, who's actually filming all this, the Yatra, how do you say, how do you say? Come, yeah, Yatra, yeah, come here, come here, come here. Come here come. Yatra's Foundation. Come, come, come on. We just call them the Orison Group. But you can call them whatever you want. All right, what, what time are we have right now? Okay, it's 3.45. It's 3.45, get ready, hold on. I'll be right back, a little, little technical stuff worked out and we'll be right, right back. The technicians are working. I gotta get the, uh, the, the oh, oh wait, the new school is here. You all ready? You are almost ready? Okay, we'll be right with you. In a bit, hold your horses and, and cows and pigs and, and peacocks. And, <laughs> My God. No, 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 Johnny, 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 ubiquitous, all-purpose tool, the Mumpty. I would like to introduce Humpty Dumpty. Now Humpty Dumpty had a Mumpty. He had a Mumpty. He learned about it in school. He was confused how it was used. He, he thought it was a tool of a useless fool. He didn't see it for a symbol. And the simple things and the humble things we mumble when we fumble with matter that can shatter and crumble until we feel like a fool. And what we need is a tool, like Humpty's Mumpty. A tool with girth. With girth, you can birth to the mirth in the earth. To engage in disarming the ancient secrets of farming where the man works the land with the sand in his hand to plant the seed that he needs for a goo that he grew when he knew what the Mumpty could do. <laughs> While digging one day, a voice in Humpty said, Hey, there must be an easier way, something more simple and clean. So he sat himself down, he designed a machine. 
It was clunky and loud and first. I did a funky burst in an oily cloud, but as it got bigger, his, his big hole digger, it fattened his figure and made him feel proud. <laughs> the fact of the matter was he had to add in the fact that he was now a contractor. When his wife started to act up, he up and he sacked her. He took his kids into Lisey. He ended up, turned a blind eye to hearsay and ended up living alone with his mobile phone. <laughs> One night while watching TV in his JCB, Humpty Dumpty had a divine revelation. He tried changing the station. It was the same information. A blinding white light, clear out of the night. And the voice said, Wake up, Humpty Dumpty. This is no time for tea. This is testimony to the golden Mumpty. Now Humpty now knew what he could and couldn't do. He took out his lungi and tundu. <laughs> he burst his bubble of boredom. Got his rusty bicycle from the storeroom. Took his kids out of Clooney. Gave him and got back on with his real life. Thank you. <laughs> Funny. Our musical station presents a soundscape, the Stampede. Wasn't that lovely? Uh, let me take this opportunity to say this whole uh, audio drama conclave is to uh, support the Oroville Radio, Oroville Radio, community radio station. And so this stuff is going to be edited and put on the radio sooner or later. Next, if I could have the uh, New Creation School take your places, come on up. New Creation School, you're on. Come on, you all know what you want to do. Il était une fois trois petits cochons. Un grand frère, un moyen frère, un petit frère. Grand frère, elle allait pour construire son maison avec des briques. Un moyen frère, elle allait faire du maison avec du bois. Un petit frère, elle allait faire du maison avec du paille. Quand de frère, quand de petit frère, elle a fini de faire son maison, elle allait jouer. Et le Grand frère, elle a, quand elle a fini de faire son maison, elle a fait du piano. Derrière du, du arbre, un renard est venu. Et le petit frère, deux petits frères, elle n'a pas regardé le, le renard. Et quand le renard est venu pour attraper deux petits frères. Petit frère, elle allait sur son maison. Quand le renard est soufflé, la maison elle a dégonflé. Et le petit frère, elle allait à la maison de son moyen frère. 
Et quand le renard avait fait un coup de pied, la maison est cassée. Deux frères, elle allait à la maison de son grand frère. Et le grand frère, elle a fait du violon. Le renard a de aller. Elle a monté sur la maison. Elle a sauté. Et le deux cochons, elle a mis une vase avec et, et le renard elle est allée sur, sur la rivière et le trois renards, trois cochons, l'été je vais fini. Okay, the Scram boys can take their places. We have a little music to look away for your... What did John, what did Jesse say for your... No, I said education. He said something. Listening pleasure. Listening pleasure. Yeah, yeah, listening pleasure. That one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, great.
musical station, uh, they make their own instruments, which means you can go up there and buy the instruments they make. I purchased mine, but my, my instruments that I bought, <coughs> the instruments I bought are, 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 are not here yet. Uh, uh, they're here? Yeah. I can have them before I... Yeah, just, I want to see them, because I, you know, that's like saying it's in the mail, or something like that. And, uh, and and of course, uh, as you as you realize, uh, um, new, uh, the new school, new school, uh, new creation, uh, they actually uh, perform in French. Now, just, just put it on the side here. It's cool. I believe you. I believe you now that I see the bag. Is that my bag too? Did I get the bag? I get the bag too? No? I don't get the bag? Thanks. Okay. Are we ready? Oh, good. Hold on. You just can't have politics and you can't make no money. Okay? But anything else, you know, you want to get your message out there, your your good, clean, fun message out there, then you can do that. So that's why we're here supporting all over radio. And we can't do anything because we want to record this and put it on the radio. See what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen is all the um, all the stuff that we're doing. They're going to take it and put it in, in, in what they're going to do some magic with it, add some more effects to it, and make it sound really, really good. We can, no? What changed? We, we don't need this one over here. Take that one off. Say again? What, what, what are we to do? We're good. We can start. Yay! Um, hi, this is Eleni and I'll be playing, I think, the captain. Hi, my name is Lisa. I'll be play, playing Sheila. Hi, my name is Aubert and I will play Jean Picasso Worthing. Hi, I'm Vinay, and I'll be playing the DJ Raga. Hi, I'm Ashwin, and I'll be playing Pedro. Hello, I'm Anthony, I'll be playing Ashinka, and um, I just want to remind all the students not to talk right into that microphone, just it'll be all right, they'll control it from there. Thank you very much. Playing, oh, oh sorry. I'll be playing, can you hear me? Veniska, Veniska, all right. Our story begins in a nightclub on a cruise ship. In a nightclub on a cruise ship. The captain is saying something. What's the problem, dude? Yo, lady, who the hell do you think you say you were? I'm a busy DJ and what is your problem? Hey, mister, the happy music is really turning me off. 
Oh, yo, yo. Do you know who I am? I mean, you, you're messing with the best of the best of the best. DJ Raga. Hey! 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 Hey, hey, people, please! Stay. Please go on with the music, otherwise you'll be eaten by the crowd. I was joking about the use of the language. Look, I'm also gonna dance now. Scene two. Looks like you were right, Aishinka. There they are, in the corner, acting like lovebirds. Bird who don't pay for their purchases. Well, you know what I said. I just love the way you say my name, Pedro. And you speak English so well. Pardon, Micheta. Did I not mention my university? Sorry for interruption. Yes, may we help you? Do you know who we are? Sure, you are the twins work who work at the ship's store. Alex, very right. What's this about? We don't mean to be bothered. The case? But not in this case. No, we, we don't know who to be. Oh. Oh. I guess you can put it on my belt. No, you can put it on my belt. It's fine. I insist. I come from a chivalrous culture. And I come from Australia. Please, don't argue. Lovers should not argue. We're not lovers, just friends. Just friends for now. Lovers? Friends? All the same in Kazakhstan? No matter you act like lovers. Or friends who are lovers. Hook it, Bill. Can we split it down the middle? Scene 3. So know about fortune telling, yet now Jean Picasso waffling at your service. Oh, I'm so happy. There is one thing I want to know. Do you know Pedro? Oh, sure. Says my name. Oh, and the way he looks at you, the way he moves his lips, the way he wears a tie, the way he styles his okay, hair. Okay, okay, but I want to know if he has feelings for me. Tell me, do I have a chance? Oh, all right. I will tell you. There's nothing you want to become, there's only what you will become. Scene 4 <coughs> This is the last day of our journey as we're reaching to our destination. Tomorrow, we'll reach Manhattan Island. So tonight is our last night together. So what are we waiting for? Let's party! Mm -hmm. Uh, DJ Raga, I don't know what to say. Uh, I'm so surprised. I mean, after what you said. You love me? Oh my god, I can't believe it. But you're right. Since the moment I first saw you in the club, I knew you were the one for me. Oh baby, kiss me. Easy here. Oh, that's so sweet. But what about me? I have no one. I'm here for you, baby. Just say the word. You mean? You like you, yeah, of course I do it. Oh, this is great. I was just looking for the perfect man. Oh, Raga, you got something to say to me or is it goodbye? Um, can I go to the toilet now, please? <laughs> no, you dumbass. You stay right there and tell me what's going on. Um, I really, truly love you and to prove it, here's a song for the girl of my dreams. 